What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of Kona 2 Broom Part 7, where we are here in the frozen wilderness of, uh... We're in Canada, right? Yeah, I think that's right. Regardless, we are here because we have to go and try to acquire some climbing equipment to go find Jules Zemes. And once we do that, um, I don't know, we have to do stuff. But today, we are going to explore down here first. So let's do that. Probably should bring out a gun. Just saying. But I'll put it away. So, but I can hold, I can just press the B button to pull it back out, which is gonna be nice. Cause I don't wanna accidentally shoot something, you know? Um, um, let's take a left here and explore this way. So we should see a lot of sled dogs around. Supposedly, which is fine. But we're also looking for other items as well. One of those is a wolf. The other was a sled dog. Okay. Y'all good, buddy? You gotta, like, go somewhere? Or are you just gonna sit there? Well, I helped them out, which is good. What's this way? What is over here? Nothing, huh? This footprints that lead this way for some reason. Oh, we can cut across. That's interesting. What'd you find there, buddy? Hey, what'd you find? Must be something on those rocks. Maybe not. I didn't see anything. What do you see? What do you see? <clears throat> I don't see anything. But I see something. Well, he's just doing his thing. It seems like this whole pathway, unless we're trying to find sled dogs, there's not a whole lot to it thus far. Which isn't horrible. It's fine. I don't know when we're supposed to acquire sled dogs, but presumably later for when I imagine we are going this route. I guess that would make the most sense, because it's pretty much a straight line, right? But I don't know. I am unsure. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to this place. There's the one little path over here to the left, and then after that, that's really it. If I remember right, though, when we were on the boat driving, there was a care package thing? Yeah, there is. You okay? Oh, no! I got you. Don't... Why are you laying next to it? What's wrong with you? First aid, ammo, ammo. Cool. I don't know why he's still laying next to it. Regardless, we helped him out. I'm glad we did. Well, that seems to be the extent of this zone until we actually need the sled dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six sled dogs. So when we need them, we can just come back. Pretty easy to tell where they are. Unless they all move. So at this point, we're going to go this way, and then we're going to go start heading southbound, because we need to go get ourselves the climbing equipment. Which is next on our list. Of things to do. Man, this game is so 
freaking cool. It's very atmospheric. I like it a lot. Like, if I was gonna give, like, ratings, I think I gave the Kona what? Kona 1, maybe a 5 or 5, 6 out of 10, maybe on a good day, but like, this one blows it out of the water. Hello. Hey, what's up? Oh, you are the monsieur de la radio? I pensais que vous seriez plus beau. Rude? Charlotte. Je suis venue chez les chiens puis mon père. C'est des chiens de traîneau. C'est moi qui les ai entraînés. Je suis venue avec mon petit père. On a entendu le message de Madame Françoise pendant la tempête, alors on a appelé le traîneau. Mm -hmm. You scared? C'est vous qui avez peur. Les adultes, vous vous promenez avec vos faces d'enterrement comme si soudainement la neige était la chose la plus dangereuse au monde. Tu sais, l'appel, ça existe encore. C'est pas une technologie perdue. She's so right. So, uh, what's on the other side of the bridge? Il y a Henry Ville, mais c'est un peu mort. Ils ont tous évacué à cause qu'il y a eu une grosse avalanche. Sinon, il y a la ville, ah. mais il y a plein de clôtures autour. And the dog sled. Can I use it? J'ai eu un petit accident. Le traîneau a foncé dans un arbre puis je me suis mordu la langue. Il faut que je répare ah. le traîneau. Quand ce sera fini, si vous voulez, je vous le prête. Il faudrait retrouver mes chiens, par exemple. Je les ai laissés libres puis je crois qu'ils en ont profité pour explorer les alentours. Si vous voulez qu'ils vous écoutent, donnez-leur ça. C'est des oreilles de porc. Attention, il ne faut pas en donner trop. Je veux pas que vous me rameniez des bébés gâtés. OK. All right, so we have our new objective. We can't actually go beyond her right now, so we actually do have to find the sled dogs then. Okay. We know where all of them are, which is good. Um, what's in this shed? No, we went in there. There's nothing. Do I have to physically bring them back, or are they just going to go to the sh sled? That's what I'm wondering. Because if we have to physically bring them back one by one, that's going to be a bit of a suckage. We'll see. Where'd they go? Okay, it looks like they just go on their own then. That's good. So we just gotta do that a few more times and then we are saw all set for the uh Dog sled time. I presume there's only six dogs total. And no more than that. Yeah, they just disappear. Okay. Okay, we got four more. Let's go get the one that was by the bear trap. So it seems they just run behind you and kind of despawn, which is fine. Is that where they go in my inventory? Nope. No doggies in my inventory. That would be pretty funny. Alright, so this one was the one that encountered the wolf. I kind of hope, well, I shouldn't say hope. I kind of wish that um, I went to the sled lady first before I came here. You know? It would have made shit easier. 
Oh well, can't change the past. Come on, buddy. Alright, and there is one remaining. It's just on the other side of this little cliff. Talk about a fetch quest, huh? It's not hard, though. It's a pretty easy quest. It's nice that the game also just tells us where they are. Carl Faubert became pensive in front of the now assembled pack. The genealogy of these dogs could lead us back to time immemorial. Throughout the millennia, from litter to litter, they had never failed to guide man through a hostile nature. Good. Let's go uh, use the campfire and save real quick and then go back to Charlotte. Sounds like a plan. All right. So I guess this is going to take up the new role of like our snowmobile and our truck from the first game. Which is fine. I don't mind. They're all lined up and ready to go. Super. Moi, j'ai fini de réparer le traîneau si vous voulez aller vous promener. Mais je vous le dis, va falloir faire attention. Les arbres, y arrive vite. Okay. The trees come at us very fast, she says, so we must be mindful. Okay. Oh, so we can use this as a fast travel. To the old house or we can physically move which is also pretty cool oh you kind of control the uh, two front dogs okay that's interesting so we're gonna go and cross and then we're gonna go take a left when we see it fit this is cool i don't think i've ever controlled it like this before this is really dope so when you move the thumbstick around um it's pretty easy to tell but when you let go as well they'll just kind of go in that direction but you move and control the, the front two dogs, and then your sled will just follow uh, in suit. Which is pretty neat. I like that. That feels pretty good to control. I was kind of worried that it would feel a little bit worse, but when you know that... um, Okay, you just decided to go that way. Um, when you know that the two front dogs are controlling everything, and you're not worrying about the back end, so you can do this, and you can do this, and uh, it feels pretty uh, easy. Whoa. How do we stop? There we go. Now the reason we're stopping is I see something along our right here. I want to check this out. And we can come back to our dogs at any point in time. Maybe I should uh, utilize the sled dogs to go up on that little route and see if there's anything around. Yeah, let's do that. Whoa. Slow down. The turning radius is only so much, though. Make it go a little bit faster, and then we'll take a turn. Hard left. There we go. Let's check it out. No, Whoa. they uh, don't like it. They didn't... They refused to go in there. Okay. I'll go in there myself. Because I want to see what's here.
Because once you go in here once, we're not coming back in here ever again. At least that's the plan. Unless there's something that we need for later on. Also, ideally, we probably shouldn't need the sled dogs the whole time. It's just so we can get around faster. Is that a moose? So it is. See, look, there's stuff over there. Carl felt comforted by the presence of the beast. If there were I would any too, if he uh, walked away. Manistan, there was still hope. Oh, I'm gonna go around him. I don't want to piss the moose off. Probably should actually pull the shotgun out, just in case. Hey, don't go aggro on me, moose. Moose got stanky leg. I'm just here for the contents of that crate. Do not assault me. I'm going on my way. Let you go back to what you're doing. See? Wasn't so hard. Okay. Back on the road. Oh, that's awesome. I did not think they would come and follow me. That is so cool. However, actually, there is another pathway to our left right here. I want to check out. Look at this. That's really cool. I didn't think they would do that. Let's take a look in this little direction. Okay, I'm gonna imagine we're gonna get some uh, wolves. Hello, is that Mr. Knight? Anymore? Nope. Missed the night. Cool. I don't know what the purpose of Missed the Night is as of yet, but I'm sure there'll be a purpose later on that will be apparent. Right? At least that's what I presume. And you notice that when we picked it up, all the smoke and shit went away on the map. So presumably there's one there and there's another somewhere else. That's interesting. I just don't know what it's for. All right, we made it to Henryville. Hello, puppies. All right, let's take a look and explore the entirety of this little town. So this one is flooded by the snow. There's no way to actually enter any of these houses, at least that one. Let's take a look at this one next, see if there's any way to enter. Can we open the door? Can we go to the front steps? What about this one? This one looks pretty clear. Perhaps. It didn't take a veteran in the art of bureaucratic euphemisms to see through the hypocrisy of this notice. Something terrible had happened here, and the HMC had been trying to cover it up. Evacuation order. An evacuation order has been issued for the Henryville slash Madison area. Due to a major fire in the vicinity of the HMC mining facilities, we recommend that you evacuate your home as soon as possible for safety. The Hamilton Mining Corporation is promising compensation for the inconvenience caused and has set up an all-inclusive accommodation facility until the situation is resolved. 
Please note that these are merely precautionary measures. Everything is under control. The meeting point is at the entrance to Henryville near the Waters Towers. Trucks will be made available to bring you to safety. Sincerely, the Hamilton Mining Corporation's management. Okay, but I can't actually enter. Dude, I have way too many batteries. Look, I have 44 batteries. A little excessive. And I enter to the rear of the house. Nobody's in the shit house. Nope. Okay. Next house. Look, it's fine. I'm just breaking into people's houses. Who cares? What are they going to do? Stop me? Unlikely. So I guess an avalanche did hit a lot of these houses, but a lot of these other houses seem pretty unscathed by it. I mean, it's a little... So now we have the like steps, but it's not too bad. Man, I guess I could go this way. I really want to enter some of these houses. Oh, that's not possible at all. Same notice. Can't even get in there. Again, covered in snow. There's the water tower. Now this one, this one's got snow issues. This one kind of does too, but it looks like they shoveled their pathway out so they can at least get out. However, the, uh, Back of the house is definitely covered in frickin' snow. And a lot of these other houses just got destroyed outright. Crazy. Let's take a look up above. Is there a way to progress even further? Would be nice. Are you alive, friend? Hey, buddy. No, he's dead. Before freezing to death, this man had tried to carve a shape with his knife. What had he been trying to say? It was an animal, possibly a moose. Was it a warning for danger? If so, what a was Wendigo. It? So he saw Wendigo. There was wolves. It was wolves that way and a wendigo behind those two houses, last he saw. He would rather take on the storm up here than go back down there. Several bullets have been shot. Crazy. Well, um... Not that I use the camera much, but... I deserve to have, uh... This picture taken. Okay, we can only turn to the right off of the ladder. We can't go around on the left side. So let's uh, head back down. I'm trying to look like up ahead and see what we can see. Oh, wow, Henryville is been outright decimated. Henryville was bathed in a deadly silence. The streets were deserted, the houses too, and with this snow, this fog, it gave Carl the strange impression of having found himself in the memories of an elderly person, a past where a failing memory would have removed any human face. What the fuck? How does one get around? 
through here? Oh yeah, is that right? Okay. Good to know we can utilize this. Hmm. Oh, this place is gonna get confusing as hell. <laughs> the map is really not helpful. Nothing there. Anything in here? No. Oh. Well, because I want to explore pretty methodically, but it's kind of hard to explore things a little bit methodically when the game kind of forces you to go and zigzag your way through Henryvale. It doesn't make for a fluent experience. Okay. And utilize the Geiger counter again. You know, I don't understand the purpose of utilizing the Geiger counter. It doesn't really help us in any kind of way. I mean, theoretically, sure, I guess. Right? But it really doesn't. Okay, we can at least see the front of this building. Can we enter? No. That would be cool. And then we could take that route, which there was nothing. We could check up there. A different water tower. This one's actually a dead end, so let's go this way. Buy that vehicle. Maybe there's items. The impact made him lose his boots. This guy? Bam. This body seemed to have been broken under the effect of a brutal impact. Carl Presumably the imagine what avalanche. creature could have generated such a force. Oh, he's part of a mining facility. savagely mauled. So either it was a Wendigo or the wolves. The astral wolves. Presumably. A Geiger counter again? Really? I mean, yeah, I guess we are supposed to go that way, aren't we? Okay. Let's go this way then. Because I want to explore all the optional pathways that are before us. Let's see what's up on this water tower. Now, this is not the same water tower. This is a different water tower. Maybe we'll find something up here. Maybe we won't find anything of value. Something. Can also get a little bit of a lay of the land this way. Okay. So yeah, there was some stuff. I wish there was a faster way down this ladder. I climbed so freaking slow. gonna get some wolves. More Mr. Knights up ahead. What is this for?
battery, their parts. All right. We still have no idea why we need Mistonite. We have what? Six? We have five of them. And there is no rhyme or reason why we need them as of yet. Well, I guess we move on. At least till we find the next save point. Now, this is around that time where we would end the episode, but I don't see anything around, so keep on going. I could technically go back, but... Nah. Progression is better. And I like exploring. So we gotta go this way. And we'll have to take a left for the mining equipment. Which is fine. If we keep going straight, there might be something up ahead, though. Or a, a slight right. I don't know. We gotta go that way. Nothing over here. Non accessible, non accessible. I don't even know why it even bothers to make us use the Geiger counter. There's no real purpose. Okay, so we gotta go this way, and then it looks like we can go leave through that direction. Okay. Finally. Stuffed moose. A little troll doll. Okay, Maniston, Quebec, Canada. So yeah, it's Canada. Looking for a place to reconnect with nature? Explore beautiful hiking trails and discover incredible landscapes? The Maniston region is for you. Enjoy the relaxing fishing afternoons or memorable kayaking expeditions on its many lakes and rivers. Maniston's vast wooded areas offer a rare proximity to wildlife, and there's no shortage of spots to pitch your tent for a night under the stars. The region also is home to a thriving mining industry, thanks to the investments of mining magnate William J. Hamilton. The Maniston Copper Mine is one of the most important sources of raw material in Quebec. Visit Henryville, a village inaugurated in August of 1940, and named after the industrialist son to discover a true haven of peace. The friendly locals will point you to La Drocavoie Bar and Bistro, and can't miss watering hole in that region. And you can relax at the comfortable and welcoming motel to enjoy your own top shape for the next adventure in Madison's great outdoors. Nice pamphlet. Was it upstairs? Interesting. Locked. Locked before my eyes. I cannot enter. I'm gonna take the money that is non-existent for me to take. Need a drink? Hey, that's what we can use those for. Interesting. Cool. Don't know why we did that, but we did it. Oh, we need wood. Is there wood around? Probably. Ah, fishing poles. Okay. Another troll. Where's the... Oh, there we go. Now, where's the mining equipment? Postcard. Henryville. So, it is here somewhere. But, we will explore this more next time. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of Kona 2 broom if you guys have make sure you guys leave a like leave a comment tell me what you think of today's episode and if you're new to my channel or have been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so feel free to subscribe to me at squash 924 and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos 
on the next episode we're going to be finding this mining equipment to then go i guess escape through this direction to go back around to the dog sleds and then once we do oh berry herbs i gotta go back there and get those i really can get that tea leaves we gotta go and get some of these things herbs huh i never picked those up before odd Presumably we're going to make tea at some point, looks like. But that's for a later date, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.